Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. Hey, Tom Ross. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, I hope you guys had a fun pre-release with Oath of the Gay Watch. Now it's time to play a little more standard featuring the new cards. Today I'm going to be playing an Esper Token strategy very similar to, uh, you know, the version of the deck that has been played for the last couple months. Brad Nelson wrote a little bit about it. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just trying out Oath of the Gate Watch alongside Gideon and just to see how good it uh, goes alongside all these token generators and to see if uh, it's actually worth playing. I'm not sure yet. It does seem pretty good, though. Yeah, you're playing Oath of Gideon, which uh, can make your actual Gideon allies in the car up to five loyalty immediately, so you can emblem immediately. Yeah. It well, also uh, <coughs> what makes Soren Solemn Visitor uh, start at five, so you can tick it up immediately, goes up to six, and you can threaten the, the emblem of Soren for your next turn. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the actual loyalty from, from Oath of Gideon seems like it should be pretty good. You know, I, I play uh, Gideon a lot, and I'm I am tempted to just make an emblem immediately most of the time, but the downside of just not having a Gideon anymore kind of stinks, but the fact that you get to keep your Gideon in play might just change the whole dynamic of how we actually play with the card Gideon. Yeah. Tom, what are you playing? I'm playing Naya Prowess with uh, the new card Expedite. I always say Expedite for some reason. Um, it runs Cantrips, along, uh, it runs Expedite alongside Define Strike as ways to uh, trigger Prowess and uh, draw a card, so you keep the, the flow going. I don't think the deck had quite enough previously with just Define Strike. I saw a version having to even splash for Painful Truths to try to keep the gas going. But now I think it could be fine. I think x bike could, uh, you know, could have some surprise beaters. Like maybe I could play it like turn three alongside of Seeker of the Way or turn four alongside of Monster Mentor. Mm. The goal is to flip it off of Abbott of Carol Cube. That seems real good. Yeah, flipping off Abbott and giving your Abbott haste, especially if you could just like immediately uh, kind of combo off or so to kill a Planeswalker seems like it could be pretty sweet. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and get to the games and see how it goes. All right, we're here for the high roll. See who goes first. Nothing fancy. Just whoever rolls highest. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. One dice, three times your two dice. All right, so I'm going to go first. Let's take a look at this opener. Whoa. All right, well, this is a pretty spicy opener, but. Uh, so one thing that is kind of weird about this deck is that there is no basic island. So uh, we're likely going to go Prairie Stream into Fetch Swamp Fetch Swamp uh, to cast Oath of Gideon as opposed to Painful Truce, um, just so that we can curve out naturally with our Hanging Back Walker. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to Painful Truce, but we might just like you know peel straight into Gideon, which would be great, and that would make Oath uh, show off what it can do early on. Of course, my hand had a ton of this. Doesn't look like a mulligan, though. I think it's just a hand that this deck will get. All Let's right. See how it works. Prairie stream, go. Okay, go. Mountain. Montagna. All right. Drew perfect card. Uh, we're gonna fetch swamp. Play hangerback walker. And I'm at 19, and I'll say go. So you're in step all. Cycle is expedite the draw card. I think I have enough of that effect where I want to kind of ensure I hit the third land. All right. Take one, cast Seeker. Okay. Go. Got uh, 19 all. All right. Untap draw. Now, the odds of our Hanging Back Walker being able to trade with Seeker the way is very low. True. And our hand is built in such a way that I think all we want to do is just curve out naturally. So. We'll just uh, fetch a Plains, play Oath of Gideon, make two one ones, and say go. Okay. So not good. If I hit a land off this Abbott, I'm in great shape. If I don't, I'm in not great shape. I've got to take the risk. It's getting out of control pretty fast. But I've hit a bad land. Maybe I should just attack first. And then he'll just take two. Then I'll probably play an Abbot and I'll probably miss. Alright, seems great. Alright, take it. Go All to right. 16. No effect. Oh, no. At least I'm not drawing it. Okay, go. Alrighty. Well, I feel like even though we could just snap make an emblem here, I think. Uh, the board is sitting in such a way where 
we just want to uh, make a 2-2. Two -two. But our Gideon is a 5, so it's going to make it a lot harder to kill as well. <laughs> Probably be attacking it for the heck of it. Yep. And say go. Think. Hmm. So 15 to 19. So if I attack it, probably kill two core allies. Then maybe I'll draw another card. I'll probably ensure I can draw another land next turn. Very no. Uh, let me see. What's the worst you can block? Double block this. Is that even bad for me? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, they both uh, get in. Alright, so I don't know of too many one or two mana spells that will allow one of his creatures to kill my Gideon. So I think I want to just block with the Knight on the Abbot, I think. But I also could just chump uh, to m ensure that I make an emblem. Uh, I could also just block with Hanging Back Walker since I'm probably going to be using most, if not all, of my mana over the next few turns. I could also just triple block. But then if he plays a removal spell here, I just lose these two. Um, and he would basically be left with a Seeker versus my Thopter and Gideon, which I'm actually fine with. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll just try to force his hand for the most part. Cast and expediate first, I guess. Dot com. Whatever, expediate something. Okay. Hmm. Uh, kind of wish I played my land first. But just in case I draw a land that has to come in and play tap, that I don't want to play my second or my third land. That... All right. Well, that was actually pretty bad for us. We're going to lose all our guys and just be left with a Thopter. Uh, okay. I'm going five. Yeah. I could have blocked a little more safely. Three. Um, Should be four, right? You played two spells. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Five. So, yeah. Just get one Thopter. All right, so it wasn't bad. I might be getting this by this Gideon, but that's okay. I drew this one swept heath. We'll ensure I get a green mana for future turns. But yeah, I'm done. Okay, draw. Well, that was a reasonable draw. Hmm. really sure what to do here. I have a lot of options. I just want to do this. This doesn't seem so bad. Alright, I'm just gonna make a Gideon emblem. We have one of those out already. Fine choice. I don't know. Let's look around. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Alright. Alright, found it. Um I think I'm okay with just like letting my Gideon die next turn. Uh, maybe so. We'll attack for two. One. Put you to again five last turn up to twenty three. Okay. All right, so twenty one. Yep. And I'll say go. Go to twenty. Twenty to fifteen is what I got. I think I need another. I, think I want a unpained white for sure. Alright. I don't want to cast my spells into a possible removal spell if I can avoid it. If I can avoid it. Question is, can I avoid it? The answer may be, I can't. Or do I even care? What if he cuts? Do I care? I don't think I do. Let's try to set up something, something nice later on. So attack this Gideon. Oh, we can secure for two. Okay, well, that makes sense. Uh, maybe I should just attack it then before doing anything too crazy. So block that. So I have to tap like this if I want to 
kind of make sure my my junk lives a little bit. Okay, I'll cast a monastery mentor. Uh, sure. And both of these will attack Gideon. I think I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna let it happen. Okay, go. Cool. All right, we'll secure for three. Now we could have just done it for two and then tried to block and save Gideon, but uh, I'm gonna cast a spell right now just while you're oh, sure. low. Oh, no, I need to probably block with this. Yeah, good. Yeah, but th the problem is I want to use my removal spell that I have on his mentor, so uh, we'll go ahead and start with a cut on mentor delving four. 19, I'll cast Expedite on it. Okay. While it's uh, around, if you want to use another rule spell on that, I'll be more than okay with it. I guess I could just, I the safest thing we'll be casting on is Thopter, probably. But I didn't, so oh well. So I got me a monk somewhere. Yeah. Go ahead and draw my card from Expedite. I'm at 19 life at the moment. And this will die. So many tokens. Uh, got me a Jacob Wilson hanging out. We'll find it. Oh, here you go. I found here. some Jacob Wilsons. All right, Jake. Me, you. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's down. How many cards do you have in hand? I have, uh, shoot, five. Lost count for a second there. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to go to 14. Got plenty of blue, plenty of black. 112 can't get black anyway. <laughs> I play another, another Gideon, key. and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take down and make another emblem and A reasonable. Hope that my guy doesn't die. I'm gonna say go after that. No attacks. No attacks. No, I want to make sure I can keep my this Gideon alive. I had another emblem a second ago. I don't know where it went. Sure. Two Gideon emblems. Okay, deck you. Me? Yeah, get some. Not bad. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wise choice. Definitely cracking this. All right, so 18, 14. I have not done the math. But I think do you have Battle Rage in your deck? I don't even know what's in your I deck. I do have Battle Rage. And I'm, I'm casting four spells this turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So four spells make that six. The Titan Strength will make this nine. Battle Rage will make it 18. The Fine Strike makes it 10. So I'll probably just trample over on this one. Yep. Ooh, Titan Strength debt. Scry right quick. Bottom debt. Expedite debt. Does it matter what I expedite? True. Oh dear. Cast that. <laughs> and I didn't mean to do the math, but that, this is all happening. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's I'm all dead. happened. That's about 30 ish, probably. All right, we're here for game two, and I'm going to be on the play. I'm only going to one lander into this six card hand. Uh, this one's definitely keepable. Let's go and take a look at the top card and see what we got going on. Well, as we saw from the first game, uh, Tom's deck is fairly creature heavy and doesn't make like a ton of tokens other than Mentor. So I think uh, having access to another one of these things is pretty good. So we'll keep that. Yeah, my hand is a little land heavy, but I do have Needle Spires that maybe prevent flood later on. All right, uh, go. It's a decent one. All right, go. Needle Spire ain't bad. Go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fetch. Be at 19. I'm just going to get a basic planes here just because I don't have any blue cards in my main deck. And, no, I guess I could draw painful through, so maybe I should just get blue white. So I'm going to cast a seeker this turn. Depends on if I want to take a pain or not next turn to ensure that I do the most stuff. I guess I can cast this anyway, so. Yeah, I'll play. Oh, wait. No, I'll play this and uh, my secret of the way, wherever it went. All right. All right, so crap that. Go. It's wrapped. So 
I want to hit a land off this. Ooh, it's happening. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, all right, three, sixteen. There you go. All right, uh, tap land. Uh, we'll play Oath of Gideon. Make two cores and say go. Good guard. Jesus. <laughs> Guess he's just blocking if I attack. If I can ever find my tokens, I just had them last game. Okay, here they are. I'll pull out a chunk of them. I think I want to draw a card before I before I attack. In case I draw another creature. Cast expediate on it. Expedite. Oh, wait. Can I do something better than that? I think the answer is no. Yeah, cast an expedite on it. Did not draw another creature, so that will be what I'm attacking with. I'll take it. Don't want to pump it up more. I guess so. Draw another card. Hmm. So this is five at the moment. Mm hmm. It's probably good enough for me. Right. What can I do next turn? This, this, this. Maybe not all that. All right, five it is. Eleven. All right, my eleven. Uh, go. Yeah, it was greedy. Probably was greedy. <laughs> yeah, this might be bad, but. We'll play this. It comes in at five from the Oath of Gideon. We'll take it up to six. And I'll just pass turn and try not to get Battle Rage too bad. We could have just played it a little safer and played uh, the Silk Wrap on his guy, which he didn't play a creature the last two turns, so that probably would end it. Would have been better, I'm at but <clears throat> high risk, high reward play here. I I'm at 18 and you're way dead. <laughs> Sorry for the bad news. Yeah, I should just killed your guy. Yeah, sure. Block. That one. That do more? Nope. Expedite it. Okay. Comment it. Okay. Battle it. Dead. Did yeah, you? I could have prolonged that game a significant amount, I think. Since we have the Oath of Gideon in play, so it actually stops his Dromokas commands from unlocking a creature. So he would have had to draw another creature. That's probably bad. All right, we're here for sideboarding. I'm sideboarding pretty light. I'm bringing in Jermokas Commands because I saw Silk Wrap and Oath of Gideon. And I'm going a little bit lower on the more bursty cards and Expedite and Titan Strength. I think uh, after board, most people will be a little bit more prepared to deal with the combo. So I always like going a little bit lighter, even though I'm not even going all that light. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my side, uh, neither one Orchid is not nearly as good on the play uh, as it is on the draw. So I do like siding most, if not all of them out whenever I'm on the play. Um, it's not particularly good in this matchup since Tom, uh, even though his creatures are small, uh, and normally like a small first striking creature would be pretty good against them, they all have prowess, so it makes blocking pretty difficult, and I think that my best bet for the most part is just not block very often, if at all, and just try to kill his creatures before they uh, actually get going. Um, I'm hoping that the extra duress should help a little bit. The self-inflicted wounds aren't great because of uh, Monster and Mentor, but <clears throat> if I'm able to pick off an early seeker of the way, I might just shut <coughs> excuse me, shut down his early aggression that way. Uh, and then another painful truth, since I'm on the play, I just want to curve like duress, removal spell into painful truths. And uh, my life total is not particularly in jeopardy, except in one big chunk uh, for the most part. He doesn't have like a lot of small burn spells. It's generally just one big swing of tumor battle rage slash pump spells. Okay, we're here for game three, uh, Mulligan 2-6 this time. Um, it's a keepable hand. I uh, probably need uh, something like a one drop or something. I'll get the scry, so I'll probably keep any land or creature. All right, out. yeah, my seven's fine. Uh, I'm going to keep it and hope I draw a land. Scry That's what we're looking for, so we'll keep. All right, shovel event. 
Um, now do I want to risk drawing a an untapped plane to get in max damage next turn? Probably. Alright. I'm a 19, you're a 19. Okay. Go. Alright. I'll just play this goofy hanger back walker and hope he can stem the bleeding for now. Drew a tapped white, which is not quite the same. Um, definitely casting the punish trick. I think he'll. I don't think he'll change this idea of blocking or not too much. So I'll cast this right now. It is a three, three. Yep. And the three, three attacks. I'm fine. Just taking three damage here. Get an extra. Hanger back token out of it. Go. Go. So I want to try to bust up this hanger back. I mean, yeah. I'll do it the safe route. Let us long get planes. So, attack. So he obviously wouldn't attack without a thing. Um, I think I'm okay just taking it. No box. All right. Just in response to fetching, I'm not sure what he could have, but I'm going to go ahead and level. Oh, okay. it's safe-ish. And I'm going to go ahead and fetch, save time. So you're 15 before damage. Yep. I'm only casting another Defiant Strike on it. Mm -hmm. Take a three from that. Argument for not casting it, because I have two prowess creatures next turn, but try to be efficient. I've drawn more lands than I probably need this game. Oh well. All right, so I'm going to take, what, three? So I'm at 12 now? Yeah, go. All right, I'm going to self-inflict a wound you. I'll play a shambling vent, so 17 to 12, and I'll pass turn. Have you one fetch down to 19? Oh, sure, you should be at 18 and then 16. I'll fetch a pain land and two damage from the wound. This is twice. I'm at 15. I got one fetch, a pain twice. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, you did pain twice off the defiant strikes. Dang. Or one of the defiant strikes. So I'm about to pain again, because I'll. I have a red in play, and I want to play 14. my land if I draw it. Abbott. Guess I gotta cast that. Go to 13. Can't attack him this turn, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm done. This is exile forever. Ah, needed that. Oh well. Go. Hmm, what does that do? Nothing? Or something? I just don't have to do anything. Neither do you. You just chill, I think. Hang about getting bigger and too relevant to me. Go. Yeah, we'll secure for three. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should have attacked. All right. Um. Let's say go. Tapping right, right enough. This whole third habit. Okay. Titan strings. Probably need to attack now. All right, they attack. All right, I think I'll just block uh, Abbott and maybe double block here. Oh. Do it like that. Strength. 
strength this. I'm having enough toughness to live. I already tightened strength this. Uh, I'm okay with that. It's drying. <coughs> what does this card do for me? Nothing. Probably not enough. All right, probably have to do more stuff. Level this. Okay. Uh, so I have a three two. Yeah, so this is a three two. This is a six three. What happened? Did, did this resolve? Then you leveled. Yep. Or I mean, I'll just wait. Whatever. Whenever it's my priority, I'm gonna level. So. Yeah, I, I give you priority. Okay. And then you would level. I'll try to level. Then I'll probably respond and get hit by something. Probably Let me put a counter on the if kill that do I care? No. Wait a I'm gonna put a counter on and fight. Right, I'm gonna put a counter on this and these will fight. These two will fight? Yeah, so it'll be a three four. Okay. Once the fighting starts to happen. Alright, I'm just gonna cut that guy. And then <laughs> this gets a counter, maybe, maybe and then not. they'll still trade, I think, right? Yeah. I'll try to take a safest route, but oh well. This will right, live. so this lives. I get four thopters. Yeah. Took no damage. Maybe I could have picked something else. Maybe something that wasn't attacking, so you take some damage. Yeah, maybe. All right, your turn. All right, he's only got one card in hand, so we don't have to be super afraid of anything. Um, I'm just gonna get an emblem. Okay. Uh, attack for eight. I hope I don't die. I'm at twelve, right? Yep. All right, put you to six. Go. I put draw card to kill you. Probably won't. Oh no. I am dead. All right, since we're on the draw here for game four, uh, we're going to go on the Knight as my only real card advantage spell card. Um, Painful Truce is pretty bad on the draw, and I could see a, a world where I just don't have anything to do on the first few turns, and this doesn't do much of anything. Uh, I meant to cut the Obnixilis uh, previously, so we're just going to go ahead and rectify that now and, and get it out of the deck and have some Knights on the draw. All right. All right, here for game four, I'm going to be on the plate. My hand is a little land heavy, but my cards are very strong. So it'll be slow, but I think it'll work out. Uh, yeah, on my side, we mulligan a five lander into this hand, which uh, is a little mana light, but I think it's definitely going to be good. Um, <clears throat> we also get a scry, so let's go and take a look at that. And this is a card we want, I think, so we'll keep it. Uh, go. I'll just get this canopy vista. All right. Well, we can choose to... Blade, sorry. So the problem here with, with how our mana base is built and such is that Duress and uh, a potential top-decked um, Night of the White Orchid just do not mix well uh, since there is no black-white dual land to fetch. So from the way our hand is, is coming out, I'm just going to go ahead and Duress you and get a Swamp. Yeah, Defiant Shriek. All right, so we got two Mentor, three land. All right, you go. There you go. All right, so 19 all. Untap, draw. Uh, fetch. Hang her back off the planes and say go. All right. One of them has to stick, right? Maybe. <clears throat> all right, we'll still grab that one. Okay. Uh, attack for one. Oh. So, what, 18 all. And say go. Okay. Let's move up this battlefield forge. Yeah, I'll spook them. Go. Well, there ain't no gods willing in the format, so... Um, we're gonna spend... Three and murders cut your guy. And I'm gonna go ahead and level. 
We'll say go. Land or cheap spell? Hopefully not. Needle spiders. Jeez. Mm. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Second verse, same as the first. Go. Okay. Jackie, you put a counter on this sacrifice enchantment. Three. That's pretty good. <coughs> so we're gonna go down to fifteen. <coughs> uh, you take oh, a wait. damage. Uh, there a better weapon tap. Well, so. No, you need red, green, white, and red. Mm. Yeah, none, none of your stuff's colorless. So. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take an extra pain. So gonna take two damage. Yeah, I'll take two because it's a skill token. Uh, well, it doesn't get a counter, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, so it has uh, what two prowess things and a become immense and a counter. So two, three, four plus six is ten. I'm at five. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. What am I at? Sixteen or seventeen? Oh, wait, was I at eighteen before that attack? Did I take three preemptively? Okay, so I should be at eight. And I'm you ha you have a guy. I'm at sixteen or seventeen. I don't know. You're at sixteen. 16. Okay, yeah. your turn. All right. This is not looking great, but he does only have one card in hand. What should we just draw on a land? But I suppose Gideon is fine. Uh, let's make a guy and say go. Cross fingers. I don't know if I can do eight. I need to draw a good card. It's not good. It's not bad. <laughs> uh, I think I don't think you can block Jacob Wilson. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. <laughs> You talking about is a creature right there. I could just block him. Do I want to attack Gideon with anything? Probably not. Be better if you were at less life. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is, Tom? I could say this attack you first, and then see what you want to do about it. Fine. All right. I'm gonna send one at Gideon. It'll probably be this one. I don't know. I don't want to hang her back to trade with any of my cards. I'll just put them to one. Yeah, that's the best. Maybe that's one attack you. Maybe will attack you. Maybe the only this attacks you. Probably just block. I'm likely blocking after just getting combo killed the last couple times. Seems unlikely with only one card in hand, but Battle Rage would be a, a pretty good one. If I don't block these two guys, it kills me. I should attack you with everything. I don't really care if that is blocked. I should get a 2 2. Whatever. Alright, I'm casting some Ruckus Man, taking pain. Okay, you go to 15. I think I won't. This is the fight, your token. Alright, so you'll gain three, three life up to 18. I think this has my best attack. So attack with everything, you might go to one. But your hangar bag doesn't convert. 
Like with these two at you and that on Gideon, then you might just block this. But I don't care if you do. I might just block that. Well, I'm definitely just going to block this if both of these go at Gideon because. No, this one, I'm thinking only this one will. Okay. That's okay, I guess. All right. Tech. No, it's just we better attack you. Screw it. Tech me? Yeah, I'll draw a wild slash. All right, so this is a 3 4. Yeah. All right, and there's a 4 4. Mm -hmm. There's a 2 2. So I do want my tokens to come into play so I don't die next turn. So I will take five down to three. Yeah. I'll make three thopters and hope for the best. Yeah, I think that was okay. That seems fine Go. to me. Draw. All right. I'll Over attack here. you for one. You're at 17. All right. I'll go to two. Play a wingmate rock. What and up? then make a token. Hope I draw a wild slash. Or, I don't know. I can draw expedite into something, too. All right. Here we go. No, oh, worst. Oh, you got five creatures. Yeah, oh, I got no. a bird in here somewhere, too. Oh, well. I'm going to die, I guess. I have the ability to go off slightly, so I won't give up or anything. Go, I don't have good attacks. Alright, you're at 17, so make an emblem. Okay. Um, attack for 12, gain 4 life. To six, you go to five. Okay, I'm at five. I'll play another rock. Make another bird. Say go. So I'll go to four. You draw some running spells. If I draw mono expedite, so I'll probably kill you. you go define strike into expedite into define strike into team or battle rage. Might get me. True. Something like that. Had these draws with Heroic before? Any cuts? No, go ahead, Dale. All you, right. You good. Dead. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we're here for game five. I have an awkward hand where it needs green, but also needs red on turn one. I think I'm going to decline playing uh, Swift Spear turn one. All right, uh, I'm on the draw here, and my hand is pretty good if we draw one land. Uh, great if we draw two lands, so let's hope we do that. I go. All right, it's a decent start. Go. Unfortunately, the land we drew is a little awkward on our development, but uh, if we draw a basic land next turn, we can go hanger back, and then on the turn after that, we can go uh, Night of the White Orchid, Duress, and I'm something else, and level. Get you for three. Okay, 17. Go. All right, I guess we'll just play a hanger back and say go. Ah. Some decisions, I guess. Probably just gonna be trying to spike a land. Okay. Oh, no. no. All right. Attack. I'll take one. Sixteen. Go. All right. Well, him missing his land drop is super awkward for me, actually. Ooh. Gotcha. I think we'll just duress you. Okay. There's some options, I suppose. There's a lot of options. Unfortunately, our hand is not very well set up to beat any of this, so we'll take that and just say go. Any way to stop my abbot from creating? How many cards you got in your red one? Okay, this was beer. Did you have a defiant strike? Did I see that? No, but I drew one. Oh. Okay. So probably just flash it through or something. <laughs> um, I guess just don't attack with the abbot. I guess just don't attack with the abbot, so. Alright, we'll block. 
Start a level. Oh, I strike the one you don't block. <laughs> Alright, I'll take three. three. Thirteen. Make two guys. Yep, go. Either risk of me drawing a fetch land in the mountain and comboing. So he has to be wary at all times. True. Good. Go. Maybe I'll draw it right here. Mm. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, it's dead. I'm at 13. Does it even matter how I block? Nope. Yeah, it's like 18 with trample. Whatever. Da, da, da. Always win. Why do you always win? <laughs> Through your Mopex man, too. I was, gonna get you. <laughs> I was getting annihilated that turn, <laughs> no matter what I did. Man, you missing your third land drop really screwed me. Ah, joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Teamer Battle Rage plus Becoming Men, still great. Woo! Woo! Uh, I, I do want to talk mostly about Tom's deck because my deck's kind of, my deck's kind of a little uh, much. It's pretty much old hat at this point. Yeah, it's just full of good cards, token so tragedy. Yeah, so Return of Heroic. Yeah, it, the deck felt a lot like Heroic, especially the draws where, well, if I just draw, you know, Define Strike into Expediate and the Common Team of Outer Age, who knows what could happen. Yeah, I mean, the, the game four, like, I was just thinking about it. I was like, he has no cards in hand but I can still just lose <laughs> to a Battle Rage as long as it's paired with a Defined Strike and one other Pump Spell or whatever. So uh, cantrips like that are, are pretty sweet uh, along with the Prowse guys because they allow you to just like, you know, deal a surprise amount of damage where your opponent might not be able to expect it, you know, just like even with no cards in hand, which is awesome. Yeah, I think uh, the deck could fit protection spells. We don't have God's Willing anymore, but Future Resistance exists and also Sinner Soul which triggers prowess twice. Mm -hmm. Could be an addition, I don't know. It seemed like the deck went wide enough to where any time the opponent tapped out, then I could just trample over with one big creature. So maybe that's not necessary, but I did like the way the deck felt. Uh, going up to eight cantrips really solidified the strategy. You kind of count on drawing them. You can go down to like low spells, even with a mentor or something, or prowess creatures in play, and kind of count on them being on top of your deck. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it it didn't seem like it missed a beat at all. You know, like every every game, it just kind of had the same kind of draw. Uh, there was one game in particular where I think it would have been significantly different if I had just cast Silk Wrap instead of getting a little greedy. But I really just wanted to use Oath of the or Oath of Gideon and uh, you know get my Soren up to to ultimate status before uh, I just died. But instead, I just died, so that's great. Yeah, the Oath does look good. Yeah. Um, I really want to see how it plays out in matchups that uh, uh, your opponent's not, you know, threatening to combo kill you because you do want to tap out in a deck like this Esper Tokens deck. Uh, it doesn't play a really good, like, draw-go game all that well. You only have a few secure the ways. Um, a lot of your removal spells are sor sorcery speed, like sp Silk Wrap. Uh, you only have a few murderous cuts. And, you know, we, we can't really play this game of chicken with Tom because he can keep adding to the board. Uh, as well as having Dramogo's command to even unlock his creatures from our Silk Wrap. So uh, it was a little tough. Uh, I, th I thought that the Oath of uh, Gideon's weren't so bad. Um, I would like to see how they play out with other Planeswalkers in uh, different scenarios, though. Uh, the last thing I was curious about in the deck that didn't really come up is how good Needle Spires is. Um, the deck already, already wanted like a red-white, another land that wouldn't uh, win Scarred Crag. Um, seems really good. Just ensure you don't flood out. And also seems really good with the pump spells. Yeah, just freaking become immense. Just hit you for what, 16? Yeah, that's an out. Even if I have nothing, no cards in hand, just that land in play, I could kill somebody. Yeah, so I really like Tom Tech. You guys should definitely give it for uh, a whirl this coming weekend. Uh, we're going to be going to Atlanta. The SCG, SCG Tour takes a stop in Atlanta for the first standard open featuring Oath of the Gate Watch. Uh, I know I'm going to be there. Tom, are you going to be there? Yeah, I don't want to miss this one. I really like the first week of standard. People come up with whatever new brews, and some people have their, their old tried and true decks like, you know, Rally or Esper Dragons or Tarka Red. So it's really a battle of the new cards versus the people that are stubborn and just play the same decks. Yeah, uh, commentators next weekend, or this weekend, is going to be Cedric Phillips and Patrick Sullivan. Mm -hmm. uh, we get him in the booth. Uh, hopefully he'll come back soon after this event. I miss him. Yeah, <laughs> it's been, been too long without him. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the pre-release, and uh, we should have some more Versus videos up uh, on Friday. I think this comes out Monday? 
Not sure. I don't, I don't know. Week. I think this is Monday. So yes. uh, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we should have all new standard Versa videos featuring uh, Oath of the Gate Watch and uh, trying out various new cards and existing decks as well as uh, a new deck that Tom has tried out, the, the mono black uh, devoid slash yeah. colorless aggro deck. So that one's going to be sweet, so make sure you guys check that out. But for Tom Ross, that's going to be all for us today. I'm Todd Anderson. Thanks for watching the... Thanks for watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. Yeah, thank you. See you. <laughs>